Hey, I'm Alex from BioAg. It's February, so it's time to start thinking about what kind of fertilizers you want to be applying to your plants. The first step is to figure out what your fertility recommendations are for the crop, um, which you can do through Google or usually on the, the seed packet or the plant um, start when you buy it will say that. Um, and then you want to know, you're going to want to familiar, familiarize yourself with the different types of fertilizers. Um, there's powderized, granular, and pelleted um, are the different sizes. And the difference is, is that the smaller the size, the quicker um, the soil can break it down usually. Um, and then of course there's liquid fertilizer. Um, and then there's, the other difference is that there's quick release or instantly available nitrogen, and then there's slow release nitrogen. Um, and usually on the organic side, um, it's more slow release and the conventional it's more quick release um, but there are exceptions um, and so I want to get into a few examples of um, or just some comparing and contrasting of two different types of crops and their fertility um, recommendations and schedule so tomatoes and lettuce um, both vegetables but tomatoes when you're growing them um, you know you're gonna want a good a good a good example or a good rule of thumb is that anything green you see on a plant is, is contains nitrogen and it, therefore it needs nitrogen to grow like all this grass around me all the green you see is uh, nitrogen um, so when you're growing a tomato all the green parts you see require and have nitrogen in them but once the the tomato fruit or yeah the tomato fruit itself starts growing um, it's no longer green after a little bit and that's because it contains um, other nutrients um, nitrogen or potassium and phosphorus so once you're in the the secondary stage of the, the fruit stage of the tomato plant you're gonna want to start thinking about adding or in the case of an organic grower you're gonna want to have already added some potassium and phosphorus um, to your to your soil um, so that you have um, enough nutrients for the plant to grow its fruit. Now in lettuce, there's only green, it's a leafy green, and so it mostly only requires nitrogen, and it requires less nitrogen um, than a tomato plant, of course, but it's mostly nitrogen, um, and that, that, that kind of comparison carries over to um, other greens versus um, things like tomatoes and um, corn and stuff like that. Um, and now there, for an example for berries, a perennial crop, um, you're going to want to do 60% um, of your nitrogen fertilizer um, in a slow release like um, feather meal and then you're going to want to do the other 40 in a, in a instantly available um, like some soy protein hydrolysate or some um, <clears throat> fermented fruit, fermented plant or fermented fruit um, fertilizer that's instantly available um, every two weeks throughout the thing so that your plant has a, a source of nitrogen throughout the whole thing from the slow release and then it's getting little bits of nitrogen throughout. Um, and then once the berries start to set you're going to want to um, make sure you have a good source of potassium and phosphorus for those berries um, as well as some nitrogen but less like I said. So there you have it, the differences um, between fertility for leafy greens and the differences for something like fruits and berries. Um, and if you want some more um, resources, the OSU Extension um, Services has some really good articles about berries, tomatoes, um, and vegetables. Um, and then also Google is always a good um, place to look as well. Thanks for your time.